Well, congratulations on making it so far in The Voice, and you were one of my favorites. I was, Thank I mean, you. I was sad to see you go, but I was like, uh, if, if they don't get voted through, it, I want them as soon as possible. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. We love so you, and yeah. you're such an inspiration, so thank you for having us. And we, we are so excited to be here, and being on The Voice was so incredible. It was amazing. It was a whirlwind. You know, so we... Nice. I was shocked to get through the blind auditions. I didn't think we'd make it. I was just happy to be there. And I was like, I don't even know if we're going to get a chair turn. But it was just victory after victory after victory, which was insane and yeah. sh equally as shocking every time. It so. was great for so many reasons, obviously. But um, you, were, you went, because obviously you both sing. And what made you decide to go in as a duo? It was, it was definitely my dad's decision. You know, we were like in quarantine. It was COVID. And he was like, you know, why don't we audition for The Voice? And I was like, we're never going to make it on The Voice. That's never going to happen. That's never going to be a reality ever in a million years. But we're here and we have nothing to do. And we've always played music together. So why not, you know, submit an audition video? So it's definitely you. And, and um, not, obviously, you're so talented because you made it, you know, into the final top eight, right? So out of, yes. out of so many people tr auditioning. But that you, the fact that you made history, that you're the first openly trans person on the show to make it that far. Yeah. Uh, it's like, that was an honor. It was um, great. I think... It's exactly this kind of thing that people that are confused or scared, you know, they just, and it, it all comes from fear. When you don't understand something, yeah. your first instinct is to be scared, hate it, or whatever. Yes. So I'm so glad that you're open about that and you Thank shared you. your story. And um, that must be amazing for you to have this platform yeah. to share that story. It was, you know, like, I, I came out the summer before sophomore year, and it was a really hard experience, as it is for every trans person, you know what I mean? Um, but... You know, there, there's not really a choice in the matter of coming out because it's either, you know, you can't live with that pain anymore. You just have to be yourself. And so I went through a lot of years of feeling a lot of pain and a lot of, you know, rejection from some people in my life. And when I got to this place and I realized I was going to have this platform, you know, it was scary because you're suddenly in front of 8 million people. You don't know how the world's going to react to you. But I made the decision to share my story in this way because I was like, if I could just you know, help one kid who's in the position that I was in or help somebody to understand who knows nothing about trans people or has never met a trans person, it would all be worth it. And, you know, I'm so happy that I did it. Well, you're helping so many people. Yeah. Thank you. And, um, equally as important is, is to show parents who yeah. are, are accepting of this because I think that there are so many parents who would be ashamed or, or th throw them out or, you know, and the fact that you are celebrating this is a huge thing. Did you, did you right away, uh, were you okay with this or did it take a minute to process? It's important to acknowledge that this would be disorienting for any parent, especially when you take time to realize that really the suffering that has been occurring is that your child has been dealing with this for years, coming to terms with it, finally having the courage to talk about it openly, that's the time for a parent to listen and to listen again and then and slow down and listen some more because that's our job as parents. And we were blessed enough to find the opportunity to do The Voice at a time, at a per certain point in our journey where it was just the perfect timing for Sasha to tell his story. And we found that they conveyed that story so beautifully. Like, I just love what how they told the story. Well, I'm you grateful. two are fantastic. Uh, you're, you're fantastic. Um, Jim and Sasha are going to perform. We come back. We have to take a break. We'll be back. Performing home, please welcome father-son duo Jim and Sasha Allen. <laughs> Pumpkin pie, chocolate candy, Jesus Christ Ain't nothing please me more than you oh, Let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you oh, Let me come home Home 
this wherever I'm with you. We laugh until we think we'll die barefoot on a summer night. Nothing new is sweeter than with you. And in the streets you're running free. It's only you and me. Jeez, you're something to see. Oh, let me come home. Home is wherever I'm with you. Yes, I am home, home is when I'm alone with you, Alabama, Arkansas, I do love my mind, boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and pay phone calls, home is when I'm alone with you. Jim and Sasha Allen, Jose Andres, and RuPaul. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love in this room. I give it back to you. Go out, spread it around in the world, everybody. Bye-bye.